bringing our thoughts captive is the topic of today's sword box flashback video. Our verse for the day is 2 Corinthians 10.5, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We hope you enjoy this message that Mickey produced in October of 2010. Welcome back. We've been talking about forgiveness. You know, one of the most important things we can do when someone has wronged us as we're forgiving them is bring every thought captive. We kind of touched on this a little bit yesterday when we talked about faith. But when someone has done something bad to us, our flesh wants to take over. Our minds can begin to think up a whole world of evil thoughts about that person. If we allow our minds to drift, we can start to play scenarios in our mind of revenge or telling them off. On and on it'll go. So we must catch these thoughts quickly and force ourselves to think on better thoughts. It's a great time to memorize scripture, especially about forgiveness. But you can't give up, even though the thoughts keep returning and returning, especially in the beginning. Just like if you break a bone in your, in your body, it hurts really bad in the beginning and it takes time to heal and it requires the proper treatment for it to heal correctly. And it's the same way when we're wrong by the actions of others. We need to take time in the proper treatment of your thoughts to heal and forgive and it's going to be more difficult in the beginning but if we'll stick to it we will see how this process works and another thing I think when we forgive someone we need to remember that it's not saying what they did was okay I think this is a big issue for many people they feel like if they forgive that person for what they did then what they did wasn't, no, wasn't a big deal and it seems unfair especially when we're still feeling the pain from what they did to us but that's not the case this is where we must exercise our faith that God sees everything and that he will deal with that person as well as bring healing to us. The Bible says in Galatians 6, 7, God is not mocked for whatever a man sows, that will he also reap. I've heard a lot of lost people say karma it has nothing to do with karma. It has to do with Almighty God being judge of this world. But we can't dwell on the fact that he's going to pay them back like we talked about before. The Bible says in Romans 14, 12, each of us shall give an account of himself to God. And I've wronged a lot of people over my lifetime and I've asked for forgiveness and I want God's mercy. And we should be merciful towards others as well. I'm going to leave you with a quote for today about forgiveness. It's kind of funny actually. And it's from Irvin Ball and it says, Most of us can forgive and forget. We just don't want the other person to forget that we forgave. God bless you. We'll see you back here tomorrow.